In this video, I'll show you the basics of creating your first 5D model estimate from a 3D model. We'll start with the 3D model open in Autodesk Revit. You have to install the Sigma Revit Live Link plugin for this to work. If you have, at the top of Revit's ribbon system, you'll find the Sigma Estimates tab. There are many features included that we'll cover in this and other videos. The first feature is Connect, which starts Sigma and builds a 5D model. Let's try it. Clicking Connect will start Sigma and extract all elements of the 3D model and place them in the Sigma 5D model for estimating. As you can see, all elements are added under the heading named 3D Model. Under the 3D model, we can see a lot of subheadings. They're structured according to the different categories of building components. If, for example, we open Walls, there's another level of heading. These are structured from types in Revit, so in this case, types of walls. In another guide about settings, you'll learn how to change this structure if you prefer a different setup. For now, we are just working off the default option. Now we can look into what is grouped under exterior walls. Here we can see eight wall pieces. That's what we call instances. We can also see that there are quantities on each piece of wall. If you hold the mouse over the note box, you'll see that a lot of additional information has come from the 3D model, such as level, height, and width. So far, so good. Let's look at the connection between the 3D and the 5D model. If you have two monitors, you can use Sigma on one and Revit on the other, which I usually prefer. In this video, however, we will let the program share one monitor just because it's easier to show on video. In Sigma, I now mark the exterior walls heading. As you can see, the exterior walls are now also selected and highlighted in the Revit 3D model. If I only select one of the walls, only that one lights up. And if I choose all the walls, then we see a lot of highlighted elements. In the same way, I will now choose a roof in Revit. As you can see, the roof is now selected in Sigma, which shows a two-way integration between the programs. In Sigma, you can now work with the prices and additional elements such as construction site, risk, and much more, and save your estimate as you usually do. You can also copy 3D model components to another estimate if you want to use only a few of the items. This video showed how to establish a connection between Revit and Sigma. In the next videos, we will look more at the different settings and options that can be worked with through the link as well as how to use your price books for faster and more accurate pricing. Please join us for more tips and tricks on how to work smarter with 5D BIM.